Well, the Almanac certainly doesn't look like a winter storm is on our doorstep. 55 degrees for the low so far today. That low temperature is 11 degrees above what is a normal high temperature for the day. But things are going to be changing very rapidly over the course of the next 12 hours or so. We didn't quite make it to that record high, which will last for another year. And that one was set almost at the very beginning of weather records, official records in Baltimore. Set back in 1876 on the second day of January, it was 71. Still warm along the I-95 corridor south to the coast, but it's getting colder out west. 20s and 30s in Frostburg and Oakland right now. So any precipitation in the area this evening is just a few light sprinkles of rain. But that cold that's sitting up here, and it is bitter cold, below zero up along the U.S.-Canadian border, single digits, teens and 20s across the Great Lakes. That's all going to be pouring in again over the next 10 to 12 hours, sweeping into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast, while a storm system down in Georgia makes its way up through the Carolinas and then probably out to sea close to Virginia Beach, Norfolk, maybe a little south of that. That's going to be key. If it moves a little farther north, we get into some heavier snow. If it moves a little farther south, we'll miss out on more of it. But right now it looks like the track is pretty much over the tidewater of Virginia tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So the snow begins in the Baltimore area after 3 a.m. That means as we get up for tomorrow morning's uh, uh, rush hour, likely to be some snow around beginning as rain down here in southern Maryland where temperatures are in the 30s to near 40. But that's a pretty big temperature drop between now when we're in the 60s to morning when we're in the 30s. And look at that, it stays pretty cold, even gets below freezing up near the Pennsylvania line with some bands of heavier snow to the south of us just in time for that Monday morning rush hour. It begins to taper off in the afternoon, probably as early as 1 o'clock. It'll be finishing up in Frederick and western Carroll counties and then ending west of the bay by 3 p.m. and off the eastern seaboard by 7 p.m. So most of the action is from, say, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning to about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then it'll be gone, and all we'll be dealing with is the cold air left behind. So we're looking at very little accumulation near the Pennsylvania line. It's kind of the reverse of what we normally see. The normally colder, far northern and western suburbs will miss most of the precipitation. A stripe of 1 to 3 inches through Baltimore City onto the upper eastern shore, and then from D.C. to Annapolis, maybe down to Easton, you start getting into some heavier bands of snow, and possibility of going over five or six inches on parts of that central eastern shore over to southern Delaware. Again, most of this will be on grassy areas. It's been so warm lately, the ground is not frozen. The pavement is still pretty warm. So with any luck, we keep the pavement wet and all this accumulation is mostly on colder surfaces, decks and grassy areas, tree branches, things like that. So overnight, cloudy, turning colder, rain and snow after two or three o'clock in the morning. Winds kicking in out of the north. Tomorrow, that snow in the morning gradually tapering off from the western suburbs around 1 p.m. to about 4 p.m on the uh, eastern shore. Not much movement on the thermometer tomorrow. Temperatures staying in the 30s, and that is going to feel sharply colder compared to where we've been recently. So there's your band of heaviest precipitation there. Again, just south of D.C. over to the central eastern shore, which much lighter amounts to the north and west. Everybody will stay chilly, though, even as the sunshine comes back on Tuesday. We're looking at highs only in the 30s with a gusty wind and a return to winter weather. It's finally coming back. So we've got impact weather tomorrow for the winter storm, then sunny cold Tuesday. Thursday night into Friday, we may be dealing with another wintry mix of precipitation. We'll keep an eye on that.